Hi everyone. Hello. Welcome back to a new vlog series that we've done on Arvia. Yes. And we thought we would do a little kind of review of our holiday yeah. that we've had. Yes, so that's um, to the Med in September 2023. Yeah, for two weeks. So we had a balcony cabin on yeah. this cruise. Which was really nice. Yeah, deck 15. Yeah. Um, right at the front. Um, room 103. Yeah. Uh, we really, we chose it for a select price because we normally used to do... Saver. Saver. Um, but we booked this one when we was on the last cruise on Azora. And it wasn't any extra, was it, really? Because we no. got £500 on board spending money, and, but it was only £500 extra. So we thought well, we might as well do it because you're getting that money back in. Yeah, and we should choose our room then as well. Mm. So we're, this is just a little review, but we will have some vlogs coming out soon um, from the holiday, and in that you'll be able to see the room, yeah, fully, and the holiday in full. Yeah. So we we'll start off with the main dining restaurants, yeah. which we actually only went to twice this holiday. When we was on our last holiday on Azora, we went every single day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner to yeah. the main dining room. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we only went there twice this time because we looked at the menus, didn't we, to go again? But yeah, there wasn't quite a few times we did, didn't we? There wasn't a lot on there, no, was there? No. So when we did go there, um, it was really long wait times, weren't there? Between yeah. sort of like getting seated before they came over and like then took your Didn't order. order. Yeah. For your coffee, you had a coffee and then you had to wait ages for sweetener. And then the coffee was cold by the time we got the sweeteners. And same for the, when we went for our lunch. It was like a long wait, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and there's a few little changes that we noticed in there. Just little silly little things. Silly things, yeah. But like, you know, we used to get the little fancy butter in the little flower little circles, shape. yeah. Now it's just like chunks and then the jam was in the little jars, wasn't it, before? Yeah, now it's just in the dish. Yeah, just seems up. a bit more, I don't know, like nicer before when we went. Yeah, but there's a few little bits, but I like I say, we only went a couple of times. Yeah, so. right, we move on now to the buffet, yeah. which was absolutely manic. Yeah, busy every single time we went there. We went quite a lot as well, didn't we? We went there a lot, there. yeah. It was like crazy at breakfast time. Yeah. Um, unless you went really early, which we did on a couple of port days. Yeah. And it was, you could get a table when it yeah, was early. Yeah, but this was like really early in the morning, yeah. after it only just opened. Yeah. Otherwise, it was just like, it's just like manic up there. But yeah, there's no trays anymore, is there? Yeah, you know, you used to get the tray and you used to put get your, your cutlery and. Yeah, and then you used to go along, you could put a few, you could put your drink on it and then you could put your little bits all on it. Yeah. You, you haven't got go. no trays anymore, you've just got a plate. Yeah, you no trays at all. So, you'd like, we used to go up and I'd get like a bit for both of us. Yeah, I'd get you, like you'd a get sit down the table and I'd go, in, yeah, I'd go and get the stuff. But you can't do that now because you can't carry it because it's just it literally just plates, isn't it? Just a plate, so you've got no hands free to get you anything no, else. No, so you've got to go and get a drink, come back with your drinks, then go back for your meal, and then you then you've got to go back and get your meal. Yeah, because we were looking everywhere for the trays when yeah. we first got on, weren't we? Where's the trays? There's we couldn't find them. We we're like, everyone's just got plates. Up in the buffet as well, there's not any vegetarian or vegan sausages, sausages or, bacon. or bacon. Bacon, yeah, out no. on the thing. So, but you can get it. Better just ask for it. You've got so to ask, yeah. That's easy. Which to I don't do. know if that's maybe a plus. Because it's probably good, so people don't um, have it when they're not vegan and vegetarian. Yeah, because obviously, if you didn't know, some people might just take it and not yeah, realise. Yeah, because they just see sausages and that, and they yeah. just eat them, don't they? And obviously, they realizing. don't have as many as the meat versions. No, so they, so. they used to run out, didn't they? Yeah. Um, so now that at least you can get it, but you have to ask. But they are still there. Yeah, but yeah, the buffet was okay. There's a little less. There's, there's less, less choice, choice than there used yeah. to be. Um, I don't think the quality is quite there really, as, as much as what it used to be. It doesn't seem it anyway to us. No. So we went to Keel and Cow and Sindhu. Yep. Um, went Sindhu once and Keel and Cow twice. Yep. The vegetarian stroke vegan options yep. are the same as the last holiday. Yep. So there's no difference. You can't have anything different. But they are nice options. And... Just the recipes slightly changed in yeah. on, on them. They're, they're the same meals generally, but they are just like, they are just slightly different, aren't they? They are definitely different, yeah. yeah. But st they're still they're, they're still, still nice. nice so I yeah. just didn't enjoy it as much as before. But they were still okay, weren't they? Yeah. Um, and in Keelan Cow, there's two options. So we had one one night and one the other. But that will be coming up in the vlogs. Yeah. Because we yeah. filmed it. And that is the same as Iona as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Same mouse. So on to uh, Sixth Street Diner. And we went, Olive Grove. And Olive Grove, yeah. So Sixth Street Diner. We went there twice. twice. Um, first time we wasn't that keen on it, was we? No, not at all. Um, it's probably what we ordered. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely what we ordered. And the second one, we liked. Yeah. It was nice, wasn't it? Was it was better, yeah. Yeah, lots better. Definitely. Um, it's quite a nice venue as well. It's totally different, isn't it? Yeah. And it's, it's nice to have a different option it's rather different than just another 
like main restaurant. restaurant sort of thing, even though it's like part of the, your, your free sort of like to eat stuff. It's just slightly different option to have, which is mm. nice, isn't it? It's a nice change. Really good. And, and then Olive Grove. Olive Grove, yeah. We didn't like it. Not at all. No. We knew it was like weird waiter service in there as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, really odd. He like, I don't know what he was Maybe doing. Maybe it was just, yeah, our waiter that we had. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we didn't like the food really, did we? No, it's just like, we would have filmed it, so you will see it, but yeah. it wasn't a good experience at all for us, but no, everyone's no. got their own opinion. Yeah, again, some people like it, some people always. don't. But obviously, it goes on what you order a lot of the time, and where when we go to these restaurants, there is normally only one option for us, or two at the most, of what we can eat, yeah. being, being not eating meat. So when you eat meat, you've got so many options, and you might pick something that's really nice. Yeah, 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 they're all burgers um, and steaks and that sort of stuff. But where we can only choose from one or two things you have to have you're that limited, thing yeah. yeah so unless that thing's nice then you are sort of like your opinion is like well we don't like it there yeah it could you know be I mean? that one thing and you don't like it so that means you don't like the restaurant because you can't have anything no. else you'll but then try it, like else. the service was not wasn't brilliant either was not it in the olive no, grove, so no. our waste wasn't brilliant either uh so i was quite excited about green and co being a sort of a plant-based um restaurant. restaurant the options is it's not a massive menu in there is no it? it's not huge but obviously everything on it is plant-based, which is good. So you yep. can have ev anything, anything that you on want. There at all. We chose our bits and we filmed it again, so you'll see that coming up. But like the look of the restaurant and the presentation of the food is like really nice. Yeah, really good. It's definitely worth going. Perfect. And it's sort of like um, um, small portions, aren't they? Very small portions yeah. and nicely presented. Yeah, so like you won't get full, bit, full up, will you? No, you won't get full up, no. Um, but yeah, we really liked it, didn't we? Yeah, and we're going tonight. We'll so have something different tonight. It's good tonight. I hope so. <laughs> But moving on to the keys now anyway, yep. talk a little bit about that. But we didn't really enjoy the food there, did we? No, so the roast is the, what we had there, didn't we? So the you can have the chef. roast without the meat and they do a, um, vegetarian, a gravy. vegetarian gravy with it. But the, oh, I, I had it once and I, all the veg oh, was horrible. Matt didn't like it at all. I hated it. I had it twice and I didn't think it was that bad. But the cabbage is really chewy and... Everything just seemed really un you like, didn't not like cooked, it, like raw to me. Yeah. Obviously, we like the chips from the fish and chip shop yeah, with the curry sauce. curry sauce. That's our fave. That's all right. <laughs> and then the middle one is like either noodles or rice. And mm. we had the sweet and sour one, but I didn't like it. The sauce was just no. But they had sort of like a couple of options on either week, didn't they? With the uh, each one. Oh, and they did have a wrap as well, didn't they? Two different wraps at the roast dinner one. Um, but I had one wrap, and it was just really, really dry. I think it had been in there quite a long time in like the heater or the whatever they put leave it in. So all the paper was uh, like stuck, stuck to, to it. it, yeah. <laughs> so I had to take it back and get another one, which was uh, wasn't stuck, but it still was very dry. Again, though, if you eat meat, there's loads of options. Yeah, you yeah, eat fish yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah. it's probably the it's, fish and chips looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. When you see people having it. Yeah. And obviously, our opinion is only p based on the um, vegetarian food. So we went to the Limelight Club on the first celebration night. Yeah. Um, and it was Lee Mead singing. Yes. Which we really enjoyed. Yeah, really the good. Food was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was food the was same good. as last time. Yeah. It was thirty pound each to go there. Yeah. And it was a really good night. Yeah. Wasn't it? Full night there. It was like really, really good. Wasn't it? Entertainment was good. Everything was good. Yeah, the whole evening was really good. Yeah. Wasn't it? I highly recommend that. We went to last night, which is Chef's Table. Yeah, up in Horizon. It was the celebration night choice. For We've us. never been there before, have we? Never no. done that before. I think it's just a new thing they've done, so it's somewhere yeah. different to dine. But you have to help where you're like dresses and your suits and that up yeah. there we booked a table for two before we left and then we got taken in and literally it was like a table for six and yeah. we lit so close to the people sat next to us yeah. it was unbelievable it was tiny like a couple of inches gaps between the tables yeah. wasn't it so it wasn't so uh, close. Uh, like nice to have was it like no. if you wanted to sit with people it's fine but we like to sit on our own and so we can just chat, chat and like stuff. yeah but and obviously it's awkward because we're filming the food and we're talking on the camera and when you've got someone so close to you they yeah. don't know what you're doing and it's no. quite weird for them yeah. and for us so th that part of it was not good yeah. but, but the food, food was, was amazing lovely. yeah which you'll see in the in the, one of the last vlogs so definitely recommend it for food yeah but not if you want a bit of space no. on your own there are a few tables there on their own but ours wasn't no and it was everyone was crammed in this small area wasn't it very cramped yeah it must have been very popular so they've obviously added tables maybe mm. I don't know Last but not least, Beach House. The beach House up in the horizon. Yeah, Bit we like went there. Yeah, we went there for a it again before we left. Yeah. Didn't have a good experience with the food. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> we just got to be honest, don't we? Yeah. It wasn't any good. We didn't like it again. It's because it was the our, our vegetarian, option. vegan yeah. options. And it's if you are vegetarian or vegan, um, 
just be warned that there's so much sizzling steak around you. Yeah. And if you don't like that, then that's going to be hard because everywhere up there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like really smoky up there. Yeah, it just and it's just of, coming past yeah, you constantly. with like sizzling steak on a Everyone lava next rock. To you. And they're quite close tables in there as well. Yeah, they? and then if someone's got that right next to you, if you don't really want to see that, then it could be difficult. Yeah, they probably do nice steaks in there. And mm. everyone, everyone was having it. Everyone was they? having it, yeah. yeah. All right, on to uh, our yeah, the ship itself. Yeah, so RV is like very similar to Iona. Yeah. There's loads of activities. It's a huge ship. It's got so much entertainment and stuff to do all the time. Yeah. But most of the time we spend is just relaxing on the decks. And because the weather was so good, we were able to do that on this cruise. Yeah, for a change. The only thing we would say is that the whole sunbed situation is a nightmare. Yeah. You can't get a sunbed unless no. you go out there the crack of dawn because everyone puts their towels on, which yeah. I thought you weren't supposed to do. No, or... They're supposed to monitor it, aren't they? Yeah, but they don't. Well, not for like 45 or minutes or an hour or something like that. Yeah. Some, 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 you're not allowed to reserve them anyway. But you're they're, not they're to. really, really hard Yeah, so to we get. went up there a few mornings, maybe like nine, between nine and ten. Mm. And there's... Towels on all everyone, of them. But no one up there. Everyone's having breakfast. Yeah, everyone's out. So all the towels are up there. So you can really struggle to find one, don't you? You do get one eventually, but you got a really much. So yeah. you can't choose where you want to be. Because we have breakfast first, then we'd go out. Yeah. Um, but obviously people do it and then once one person does it then another person does yeah. it and it's just a this effect that everyone does it because then they think well they're doing it so I'll do it yeah. and it's, it's so annoying isn't yeah. it or they'll leave them they'll go up there sunbathe and then they'll leave them for hours when they go around yeah. the shops and bits and pieces because we were obviously up on deck we stay up there Yeah. and people aren't in their seats for like hours yeah no one's doing anything about no it. No one's doing anything about it. So it's a bit unfair, really. It is a bit. You know? You've got people wandering around looking. Looking and for it, yeah. Which we was doing, weren't we? Yeah. So our favourite part of uh, our here was the Sunset Bar, wasn't it? Favourite venue. Yeah, uh, on deck eight. So nice when you're at sea, at a port before you go. Just really nice there, isn't it? It's just nice, nice relaxing and it's like... Um, it's always busy. There's lots of people down there, isn't it? Yeah. Which makes it nice as well, doesn't it? Yeah, we liked it anyway. Good bar down there. Just yeah. behind the clubhouse it is as well, so you can go through into there, can't you, if you yeah. want to? We went there at night as well sometimes, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah, in the evenings. Obviously, there's no pool or anything there, but they have got two whirlpools. Yeah, two whirlpools. That. Not that we went in them. No, and a DJ. A DJ. DJ, DJ Wixie. <laughs> <laughs> Done a couple of talks, didn't we, in the headliners yeah. there, but we didn't watch any shows. Did no, we? not this time, because you have watched... to pre-book them, and I yeah. just don't want to pre-book stuff. Yeah, so I want got... to yeah. have the freedom to like do what we want when we want, not have to pre-plan everything. Yeah, so if you want to, like, you think you want to go to like the Seven Ten Club or to headliners, you have to think in advance because mm. Seven Ten Club was just booked constantly. Wasn't yeah, it? you couldn't get in there at all, and all the early shows at headliners were all fully booked as well. Mm. It's just if you like planning out your evening and knowing exactly what you're doing, then that's really good. Mm. But if you don't, and you just like being spontaneous and doing what what you feel like on the day, then you you can't really do them two places. No, no. But we, we did watch a few shows in the Sky Dome, didn't we? Yeah, which was really good. Like the Sky Dome. Yeah, I prefer Sky it to Dome Iona. Is good. Slightly different. But Iona, they close the pool up over the top of it, and then this doesn't happen here. The pool's bigger on this one. The roof opens up, so it's definitely different. So I just want to say that we chose the balcony cabin this time because last time we had a inside on Azura. Azura. Yeah. When we went to Malta. Spent quite a lot of time on the on the balcony, didn't we? Actually, yeah. And like, obviously, looking out the balcony, being out there at night when we got back from the clubhouse, yeah. and when we sailed away, sail outs, so just Sail-ins, like, yeah, just really like nice. used it so much. So we're really glad we did it this time. Yeah, and um, and being on the front as well. Yeah, made a massive difference to the to the side. We really liked it. I mean, it might not have been quite so good if it was rough seas. If it was rough seas, it would not have been good at no. all. <laughs> But we was really been really lucky with the weather. Yeah, and the because the other thing is you can't slide the door open on these ones. You've got a it's on a hinge. Yeah. Um, but we just wedged a cushion in. So like when we was docked, we yeah. just wedged a cushion in, and then the door stayed open like that, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Um, because at first I was like, oh, I don't like this. The door doesn't. You can't, can't leave it open. No, you can't leave it open. There's no glass at the front for to like looking when you over. Sit down, no. But the more you got used to it, the more I liked it. Yeah. And it was really it's really big balcony as yeah, well. Yeah, huge it is. It's hard because at the side you you kind of like got your glass so you can see over. Whereas here you haven't got that, so it's got good and bad points. Yeah, but it's, yeah. I think it's more good points, especially yeah. if you're filming and stuff like that. Yeah, if we're doing like so, I like, like I see my time lapses coming in and out of ports and stuff. Yeah, it's brilliant for really that because at the front, so you see everything. Yeah, it's, we really liked the ship, didn't we? Yeah, really, really liked, liked it. Alvia, um, it's definitely less formal 
than some of the older ships. Yeah. It's very relaxed. Like, not everyone dresses up for the black tie nights and stuff like that. No. I think probably less and less people will start to dress up. Maybe, yeah. You so we do a bit now about the ports that the crews visited. So we've been around the Med. Quite enjoyed the ports, didn't we? Yeah. Some we'd done, some we hadn't done from previous cruises. Yeah, some new is, ones, though, which was yeah. nice to go to places we haven't been to before. Yeah. Our favourite probably Mallorca. Yeah, I think so, apart from um, the rain in the morning. Yeah, it absolutely rain in the morning. poured down, didn't yeah, it? To about midday, maybe. Mm. And then it came out really nice, didn't it? It was the only day we had a rain, actually, yeah. wasn't it? the whole cruise. On this cruise, we decided to do no excursions whatsoever, yeah. which was like first, not a first for us, but. Not for a long time, though. Yeah, we normally do the uh, excursions, don't yeah, we? No, or some, yeah. but this one, we just did our own thing. Yeah, just walked, just explored the ports every on single place, yeah, on our own, so we didn't get any coaches anywhere or anything like that at all. No. Just enjoyed the sunshine, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Our worst port was probably La Spezia. Yeah, in Italy. Mainly. Probably, probably because it was a Sunday. Yeah. And everything was shut. Everything was shut. Yeah, everything was shut. But they did have some weird, like a comic con or something going on in yeah. the town, didn't they? Yeah, people dressed up in like costumes and stuff. It just wasn't the same as like when we went to Luca and places like that when it was really Italian yeah. and like, or like when we went to Capri and they had all the lemoncello and all that. It just wasn't like that, no, was it? Not at all, no. I don't know why. It was just. But there was. Um, excursions from there to do Pisa and Florence if you yeah. wanted to and Luca and Luca but we'd already done them before yeah so we didn't do them but I probably would definitely do them again yeah next if you go to La Spezia I would, I would the, do, it's yeah. a long transfer though isn't it it's yeah, like, it's like two, two and a half, half hours on the coach which is yeah. why we didn't do it yeah it's a long way isn't yeah. it yeah but yeah that was our port so with the med cruise it was good wasn't it yeah so captain As for arrival, we are planning to board our Southampton pilot east of the Isle of Wight by Nack Tower at 3.15 early tomorrow morning before a 27 one. mile run up to our berth. The forecast shows that these conditions will remain all the way up the English Channel this evening and overnight. As for tomorrow in Southampton, we are being told that we can expect mainly overcast skies, winds from the southwest up to 20 knots at times. To personally thank all my friends and colleagues who make up the ship's company, my Arvia family, for everything they have done to make this cruise safe and enjoyable. There are so many teams all over the ship working in guest facing areas, behind the scenes, day and night. One of the largest operations is, of course, food and beverage. This team produces 70 different menus of food offerings in all the guest dining venues during a one, two week cruise. On top of that, 30 different menus for the ship's company, so that it supports all the food choices for 1,700 members of the ship's company who come from 50 different nations. Even after 30 years at sea in this company, I am still in awe as to how they sustain that operation week after week. I will leave you now with a final thought for the cruise. All seafarers are travellers, and travellers are dreamers who make their desires for adventure a reality. So on that note, I hope you've all Not enjoyed joke. your adventures with us, and hope very much to see you all again in the future. Thank you, and I wish you a great final evening on board. Okay, that was Captain. That was a long one tonight. That was a long one. <laughs> So back to our little roundup of yes. our holiday. So a couple of little bits that we've noticed is that the prices of the drinks have gone up. Yep. Um, and the, obviously the drinks packages prices yeah, they've have gone all changed, up. Changed, haven't they? There's more packages now. Yeah. So the and whole all, things changed. Yeah, all gone up in price. Yeah. And um, no complimentary water anymore in your cabin. So no. you get water, but you have to pay for all of it. So you used to get two free. I think it was two that you used yeah, to something get. Something like that. Um, but yeah, not anymore. No. So overall the holiday was brilliant, a bit crazy in the buffet at times trying to get food yeah. or get a seat. But Generally busy over the whole ship. Yeah, um, but the weather has been amazing, that's what really made the holiday yeah, for us. Yeah, it's been great, it? yeah. Made a change. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we had a bit of luck for once with the weather. Yes. Hopefully we, we got a little bit of a tan. Yeah. We'll go back feeling a lot healthier and refreshed back to work. Yes. <laughs> So we've got the vlogs coming out in the future. Yeah. We don't know how long it will take to get them all sorted out, but no. they will be coming up. So just want to say 
like thank you to everyone that come and said hello to us it's really good to meet you yeah um so we've just got a few people we just want to say yeah. hello to um we don't know the names but a couple no. that's um ladies vegan and they came up to us to buy the reception at the beginning of the holiday yeah hello to you them. hello to you we've um, got peter and pauline that we met yeah a few thank times didn't we on coaches and <laughs> yeah. in towns and that kept bumping into you so once we met them once we kept seeing them yeah but hello to you thank you for coming to say hi um bob and pauline that we bumped into in that special yeah yep hello <laughs> uh, hello to you as well we had a little chat in town didn't we yeah thank you for watching the vlogs yeah uh, Scottish lad, Scott, uh, Stuart, that we bumped into at the Sunset, Sunset Bar. Bar, yeah, one evening yeah. just before he got uh, pulled inside uh, by his wife. Yeah. <laughs> Been Hello. to the clubhouse. <laughs> and there was uh, also uh, a daughter and her mum. Yes. That uh, came and said hello, but we didn't get your names on as well. On the sun deck. Yeah, on the sun deck, yes. Yeah. And we bumped into you on around the Keelan Cow side as well, didn't we? <laughs> so ha hello to you too. <laughs> But Alison that we met in the clubhouse. Yeah. And Debbie and Danny we met by the shops, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. And then we've got Steve and Sue, that's um, Dave's friend, who we met on the last cruise. Not the last cruise, the cruise before that. Yeah. Dave, um, he's got his own channel now, Mad About Cruising. Yeah. Um, it's that his friends, which we met um, outside the sweet shop. Yeah, we did, yeah. Yeah. It's really nice to, to say hi, and it was really nice to get like feedback, and because we don't think anyone watches the vlogs. Nah. <laughs> just think don't we so yeah. it's nice that people actually say oh we watched the vlog it's quite surprising isn't it and that lady last night that came up to you and spoke to you in the clubhouse oh yeah that was sat down next to us yeah hello to you too so thank you for watching this vlog yeah thank you for everyone to say hello yes. on the ship hope you enjoyed the cruise if you was on it if you haven't subscribed please do say it really help us out with the videos going forward yeah give us a thumbs up and hopefully we'll see you soon bye bye <laughs>